everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to show you how to make this really lovely gift box. It's actually two in one. You've got the magnetic closure here, which you don't have to have if you don't want. And then inside you have 12 of these wonderful chocolates. And then it all just folds up. You've got the acetate on there as well. Snaps together and you've got it ready to give to someone. So let me show you how to make it. So I've already done one of these because we need two of these and then the wrap to go around. So you may just want to make one. That's quite nice, you know, you could put some ribbon around there, maybe pop something on the acetate on the top if you wanted. And that's for the wrap. Okay, so for this piece here is going to be the base and these two sides. And then these two smaller pieces are the short ends here. So it's a deconstructed gift box. So you're going to need two pieces if you're doing the two boxes that are five and a half by 12. And along the 12 inch side, you're going to score a half an inch, two, two and a half and four and then at eight nine and a half ten and eleven and a half okay so that's all the scoring there then you'll want four pieces that are four and a half by four and along the four and a half side you want to score at half an inch two two and a half and four and then along the short side so along the four inch side you're going to score at half an inch past the first score line and down to the second and again half an inch past the first score line and down to the second I'm just going to do that on this one as well it doesn't matter what end you do that at as long as it's along a short side because they're both the same then you also want these two pieces which are going to be for the wrap and they're 4 by 12 okay I've got a piece of acetate here as well, but actually I'll leave that along with the mats and layers. We'll talk about that at the very end. So that's all the scoring. Okay, next you want to fold and burnish all of the score lines. Then with these two small pieces, where you've got the score line that you scored at half an inch and at three and a half down to the second score line, you want to cut down both of those. Now remove the score line. So I'm cutting towards the left hand side here. So I'm actually going to remove it. So you want to cut first the score so you want to cut past the first score line and down to the second, just where, like you did, just where you scored it. And then you're going to go across on an angle down to the third score line. Okay, just move that out of the way so you can see behind. So again, now I'm going to cut to the right-hand side of the score line. So again, I can remove it all down to the second one. And then I'm just going to cut across so you're creating that shape. I'll do it again on this one, just so you can see. So I'm cutting to the left-hand side of the score line on this side, and then I'm just going across. So you're going to seal this, so try and make sure you get it nice and straight. And then with this one here, I'm just going to come across to meet there. And then again, I'm going to cut to the right-hand side this time until I join there. Okay, so you'll be either doing that twice if you're just doing the one box, or four times if you're doing the two. Also, if you just take a wedge off of the corners here, and I'm actually going to do it on these ones as well. And we may find that we end up taking a little bit more off of the sides of this as well, but you'll be able to test that in a moment. Okay, next you want to grab this piece and some glue. I'm going to use my quick grab. This is the Cosmic Shimmer Glue. I actually need to get a new one. And we're going to attach each of these to the sides here. So I'm going to pop some glue just along here. And then you're going to sit it within this middle section here. So I'm just going to line it up. And then what I've been doing is then folding it back over and then you can just spend a minute making sure that it all sits within these two score lines. Now bring it up. Now if anything's kind of lifting or it's slowly going over the score line here then I would suggest, I've got a little bit going over here, I'm just going to go down and just shave a little bit off the side here. This isn't going to you know, damage the finish or anything but it just means that everything's going to fold in better. Yeah that's going to work. Again with this side here, just line up as best as you can and then fold it back over and then you can kind of just push up to the edge there. Make sure it's nice and flat. 
Now we're going to bring these sides down. And the reason I've stuck them in first, it means that on the back of the box you get a nice finish. If you stuck them on the outside, you would see it, you know, you'd see little bits of it here. I mean, you do end up putting your pattern paper on, but you would still see like a little join here and stuff. So I just thought this looked a bit better. Now I'm going to pop some glue along here. And what you want to do here is just fold the whole thing in half and then fold it into your box and then push that down and that way you'll get the perfect kind of cube or well, it's not really a cube but you'll just get that kind of tunnel perfect equal tunnel there okay so again I'll pop my glue along here and just repeat that on this side so fold it in half and then fold the whole thing into the box Okay, so you should have something like this. Now what's going to happen is this is going to come into this section here. You can see we start to get that shadow box. You see how that all nicely joins in. So do a dry run. First of all, just test and make sure it all slots in nicely. If you get anything that's kind of catching here, it will be probably because you've still got your score line visible. So you do want to make sure you've removed all of the score line like I mentioned at the beginning. Now the easiest way to get this stuck in kind of like what we just did with these side pieces, is pop your glue again on the tab here, lay it down flat like so, and then fold the whole thing over. Just lift that up and then you can fold it back out, like so. Okay, so you can see how this is all coming together. So again with this side here, so again I'm going to fold it in half, fold that over and attack it in place and then you can kind of bring it back quite quickly and that way again you've got it perfectly lined up. I'm going to go back to this corner while that's still drying. You then just want to pop the smallest amount of glue because this will actually end up being pushed kind of up as you close the sides. As you bring this up, bring the sides up and just kind of lock it all in and just Put a bit of pressure down on the corner there and that amount of glue will be enough because it would have been you know slowly pushed across as we brought up that this side here if i bring that up now you see you've got a really nice join like so so again i'm just going to pop a little bit on the corners if you feel it's too much just spread a little bit out and again can see there the glues just push that across. I'm just going to quickly get rid of that. Like I said, this is a quick grab glue, so your art glitter glue is um, very similar as well. And now you've got your box. So, so now you want to redo that again. So you've got obviously two of them. You might be doing even more. So next we will add the acetate. We'll do that bit now actually. You want to cut yourself a piece of acetate that is five by six and a half yeah five by six and a half and then you just want to take a slither off of two of the sides so the short side and the long side so I'm just when I say a slither it's a sixteenth of an inch which is literally just in between an eighth of an inch so I'm just laying that down but it's a slither I'm going to try and hold this up so you can see if I pop it against can you see just how thin those are and it's easier for me to just give you that five by six and a half measurement and then just cut that little bit off if you cut a bit too much off it really isn't going to affect it too much because we've got this little pull tab and by the time i put the sweets in there it all locks in quite nicely so i wouldn't worry too much so now we've done that grab your scoreboard now i like to use a metal stylus when i'm scoring acetate i just find i get a much better impression you just want to score it one inch on all four sides you're going to use the even smaller end there so just one inch just rotate your card stop round this is a paper mania construction weight acetate and as i score it the sides start to lift up so that's the way i'm going to fold it because that's the way it wants to go so if i kind of hold that up it's kind of like a plate starting to come up this way so I'm just going to follow the way that it wants to go so now I'm just going to burnish all of those score lines so even though we've scored if you scored that on cardstock you would have folded the opposite way but because this is 
you know a plastic and it's wanting to bend I'm just going to go with the fold. Now you want to remove all of the corners and again remove the score line as you do this on each corner. Okay, you can just see the corner there. Okay, so now you'll have this shape with all of the corners. You'll be able to fold them all down and it will form that kind of lid shape. Before I pop it in, I'm going to add the stopper. And all I've cut here is a piece of half an inch by one and a quarter. And I've folded it in half and put pop some glue in the middle. And then I've just put a very thin strip of red tape along the bottom here. Red tape will work best when you're working with acetate. Glue will just peel off. Now I think I need to, I think I've picked up some glue and stuff from other projects because I've been filming a few things today. Now I'm just going to pop this in the middle on one of the short sides. I know it's kind of hard for you to see what I'm doing here but hopefully you can catch the light, you can see what I've done there. And then I'm just going to fold it on top and then I'm just going to fold it back. And you'll see now we've got a little tab. And then I can grab this and you'll see it will just slot nicely inside like so and then I can just pull that out. If you want to go longer on the side, so I've done one inch even though this is one and a half, you could do your side pieces that are one and a half but by the time I put the treats in here the acetate kind of sits on top of that so I'm not worrying too much but definitely need to give that a wipe. So that's all of the box finished then I'm just going to grab these two pieces here. Now rather than score them first I always prefer to lay the box on, stick that all down and then kind of go over it and score it. So these little tabs I'm going to make sure face up and then that's going to come together like this and then I'm going to lay it down so it's right up to the end of this piece of cardstock and then I'm just going to fold up the side there, make sure that's all nice and straight like so and then I'm just going to grab my scoreboard and just go over it. It's about it's on the three inch marker actually, so there you go. <laughs> Sometimes I just find when you're going around things and boxes and creating cases, it's always a bit easier to wrap them. I'm just gonna burnish that. Now you're not gonna stick the base of the boxes on here, you're actually sticking this back piece onto here. You're keeping it free from this. This is where I've got that little message that reveals when you lift them up. So now I'm gonna grab my Kalau glue because this is going to add a lot of strength to the project and I'm going to cover the back of this and I'm just going to butt it up to that score line, bring that up so I can really push it down into the corner. But I'm going to take the acetate back out just so I can push that right down. And just spend a minute really making sure it's right up into the corner there and let that dry. Okay now I'm going to get this one, I might as well just score this at three as well rather than just sit it on there and then just fold and burnish and then I'm going to pop some glue underneath here and then I'm going to sit that piece on top of this piece like so again I'm going to butt that up to that score line but at the same time I'm going to bring this one in sit them down side by side and then I'm going to bring this up and just check that it all sits nicely together once the glue's on that it will you see there there we go so I'm going to add the glue onto the back of this then I'm going to lay it on there and then I'm going to bring it up together and then I can really push it right down into that corner and again just take that out make sure it's all stuck down. Okay and then I'm just going to grab my scoreboard and then I'm just going to pop this in and wherever and just find a track and I'm just going to run a score line right along like so and again just lay it in there and that way you just get it nice and tight and it really does wrap around your project. Again don't worry that the score line's kind of going in the opposite direction it will be fine so that's going to fold like so you just see you start to get a really nice tight wrap around there once it's all stuck in place and then I know that this is one and a half wide so this one you can just do the normal so one and a half 
you just want to score again and that will give you a two inch piece here. I'm just using any track, it doesn't matter, just line up the box so it's, you know, I've got it at four inches here, I'm going to come back then to two and a half inches so that'll be a one and a half section and that means it will sit over the top of the boxes and we're going to stick that now on top of there as well. So I'm going to take that away. So it's a slightly different way of doing it, but I think if you do it that way, you, you really don't get any kind of little gaps. I'm just going to stick that down. I mean, you could, I guess you don't have to, you could just leave it open like that if you want, but I'm going to keep it all stuck down. Now you can see, there we go, just how well that all wraps around. The little kind of gaps here is where the, that's the corners of the box, you, you, you're always going to have that. But in terms of this outer piece, it wraps around perfectly. Once we pop the magnets in place, or Velcro dots, you might want to hole punch through here and then put some ribbon through. You might want to just put a peg on the top. So there's quite a few ways to, you know, secure it. So I'm going to leave them, I'll pop the sweets in at the end. So now to decorate. So I'm using the wonderful butterfly kisses for anybody that has missed some of my um, earlier videos using this. This is the paper pad. It's brand new by Dovecraft and this is the decoupage kit. And I'm going to use this one I think, but I've also got the especially for you. And you build these dimensional toppers. Wonderful. Really, really am loving this collection as a lot of you can probably tell. So I have this piece here, which is going to sit in there and then on the top of that I did have one of the sentiments I'll pull that out in a moment so if you want to decorate the inside there this is a piece of two and seven eighths by three and three quarters so that's going to go in there these two pieces are going to go on the outside here so it's this lovely mermaid scale now for some reason that is too big so that actually needs to be, I'm going to take mine down a bit. So they need to be two pieces that are five and a quarter by three and three quarters. So they go on that side and on that side. Then to cover these four sides, I've got the butterfly print here. So again, you'll want four pieces that are one and a quarter by five and a quarter. So that's my four pieces there. And then I'm going to do this print. I just realise that that is taller. So I'm going to trim that down. So my mat layers should be two. Oh, it's one and three quarters. Not two. Leave it at two if you want, and then just do your mat. If it, if it is still two, like mine is, there's nothing wrong with that at all, then I would do two pieces that are three and three quarters by one and three quarters. But I'm going to trim mine so that these don't get wasted. But they're going to go in there and on the back. And then you'll also want the same size again for the inside pieces here. So that's those ones there, and then these pieces are to go on the top here because this is slightly smaller, and these two are one and a quarter again by three and three quarters. So I'm going to go and get all of those stuck down. I'm going to get the sweets popped in here, and I'm going to get the topper to go on there. And then, in fact, before you stick them down, these you know the panels for this side, we need to add the magnets if you're going to do that, and I'll show you that in a moment. stuck everything down it looks really nice together and then inside here so I've got these are the rare earth they are one mil by 16 I believe let me just double check oh actually it looks like they're 12 or 13 I would have thought they're probably 12 um, if I can find the original link I've had these for ages now I will um, link it below I've just got some glue dots here and I'm just going to pop a glue dot on the back. If you scratch the back of the glue dot, you'll see it go white in colour, and that means that it's transferred 
from this piece here and it will come off perfectly. And then I'm just going to position one there. And if you slide them off of your pile as well, then that way it makes them much easier to, um, to remove. And again, just scratch the back there off straight away. Again, I'm going to pop that one about the same place there. Then I'm going to grab another one and very carefully let it find which way it wants to go. And then I'm going to pop another glue dot on top of that one. Okay, so that's transferred nicely. And again, slide this one off and just sit that one neat, nicely on there. Try it. And then I'm going to close the box, make sure everything's squared off and it's all joined, and then just pinch that together. I want to get that to transfer across. So you, you may need to just very carefully still prise them apart because they're probably stronger than the glue dots. Again, just make sure they're nice and secure. And then we can stick these pieces over the top. So I'm going to add my glue. Doesn't matter if the glue goes on the magnet, I've not found it to affect it. Obviously you don't want to build it up too much, but these are very, very strong. So I think it would take an awful lot to, you know, interfere with the workings of the magnet. So I'm just going to sit it on there until it gets tacky and then I'm going to kind of mould it around the magnet. And whilst that's just drying, this is the rest of the sweets here. Now, I picked up this for about £5.50, so it worked out. You know, good value for money to do these um, these two kind of gift boxes. To attach these inside, again, I'm going to use the glue dots. These are by Stick To brand. Um, they're about a, they're not 10 mil. They're, they're just over five. They're about a six mil, I think. And I'm just going to pop a glue dot on the bottom. Again, just kind of scratch it off so it transfers. And then you can just start to position them inside each of the boxes. So I'm just going to get all that done. That's all now finished. So I've stuck everything down. I've gone for this topper with the just for you little message there. You get so many in the decoupage kit, you get loads of extras. So I've just kept mine in a little bag here and they're, they're great for adding on to other things. The ribbon here also comes in the set or the kit. You get so many addition, like add-ons, you know, embellishments and stuff. I will link the actual unboxing, the collection just there so you can have a look. But I use the ribbons here and it was the butterfly one on the two. And then just open the top and you can see I've added Hugs and Kisses which is another one of those extras and I've stuck all of the treats inside there. I just think it's lovely and like I said you can pop other things in here, you know pop some tissue paper and you can put some jewellery and smaller gifts in there, other treats. There's just so much and I know lots of you will already have your own kind of ideas on what you want to use with it. I see this working really well for Christmas gifts and especially gifts to give to your neighbours and stuff like that. I think it's really nice but I love the, the snap closure there and it just holds itself really really well. So there's the other one as well. Love them. I think they're really good and it works out £2.50. So bargain, well a little bit over but anyway you get the idea. It's a nice inexpensive but very lovely looking gift I think. So the videos that are popping up now because there's going to be some other tutorials that you may enjoy watching. If you haven't subscribed and you've enjoyed today's video please hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell and then you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll be back again soon. Bye!